vamos a cada mata. ¿Estás loco? No, no, vamos a cada mata. Venga, va. Hi, last week we did something uh, that many people say that was extraordinary. We jumped on a plane and we went to rescue a dog that was living by the side of the road mourning his dead owner. He had been living there for two years and nobody did anything. I watched the video, I couldn't believe it, so I jumped on a plane and I got the dog. That's what we do. But this rescue didn't end with Hachiko. After we put Hachiko in the van, we continued our trip. And then something else happened. We drove for four hours down to the south of the Peloponnese to Kalamata. And this is what happened next. Listen, two, two weeks ago, uh, one of my friends sent me a picture that you, you had asked for help. And I, the things that we have done, many dogs with the same problem. And, but very importantly, this has uh, filaria, which is warm, hard worm. Okay, okay I, look, so I know what his problems are. And we have treated many animals like him. So I, to, I told Valia that I was going to, to go to Greece. I was going to do another rescue and that we will drive down south to Kalamata. And if you want, if you want, we can be there in three hours. Vamos a Kalamata. ¿Estás loco? No, no, vamos a Kalamata. Venga, va. So we're still in Greece. Yesterday we showed you what happened with Hachiko, Greek Hachiko. We caught him. He's here in the back of the car. We are now heading to another rescue. Thing is that just before coming, somebody contacted me and, and asked for help for this dog that is in a shelter in the south. He has a broken jaw and he has worms inside his heart. Heart worms. Uh, the dog is tiny, it's very small, and he's in a, in a shelter that is full of dogs. He's not gonna make it. We know that if he continues there, he's just not gonna make it. So, we're gonna drive four hours down to Kalamata, in the south of Greece, to pick up this dog. Let's see how it goes. We don't know what's gonna happen. Uh, somebody showed me this picture of this dog in south of Greece, and uh, they asked for help. And Valia, which is here, had posted that uh, that picture on her YouTube channel and that's how we got in touch I wrote to her and said look I would like to help you um, what about it how do we do this and this is where she is right now so tell me how did you enjoy Hachiko's rescue I really enjoyed it I'm sorry I didn't believe it in the beginning <laughs> it seems too good to be true that you were so sure <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah. A huge success. Yeah, well, we're really, really, really happy. And now, well, we're going south. Kalamata is a four hour drive from the place where we were. It's a big shelter. There are a lot of animals, there are hundreds of them. And uh, as every shelter is run by great people, they start with, uh, with great intentions, but I think that somehow they got overwhelmed. Many people are leaving animals there. There are no local adoptions. It's really difficult. So we're gonna see if we can help them. Um, I would like to go pick up this dog. I would like to get him. And, uh, and at the same time, I would like to show the conditions at the shelter. I would like to show the way these animals live. And maybe, just maybe, after you watch this, one or two, or maybe many of you would like to help them. But I tell you, I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna be. So let's see. <laughs> so 
we are arriving to Dash Dog Charity. Okay. Really complicated way. And somehow the location is uh, seems to be a bit... Uh, I mean, they don't want everyone to know where it is. So we have to keep the secret. Now, you know, people dump dogs on places like this all the time. I don't know what we're gonna find. We're gonna see in a few minutes. It's in the middle of the fields in the Peloponnese. There are olive trees everywhere. Aquí, no? This is one. Guys, if any of you is a vet, this place needs you. So just contact me. Here's my email address. Get in touch with me, I'll tell you how to get here. If you don't come from very far away, I may even send you a ticket. But definitely these people need help. Super buena mujer. Es super buena mujer. Sí, lo es, no lo es. Muy buena, excepcional. Qué fuerte. ¿Cuál es su historia? ¿Tú sabes? Y muy elegante. No, no vivió, ha vivido en el extranjero, ha vivido, ha vivido en Estados Unidos, en Inglaterra, volvió a Grecia, no es griega. Y dijo que iba a trabajar de voluntaria en la organización local de animales. Y terminó con tantos. Porque nadie ayuda, así pasa en, en Grecia, especialmente en regiones rurales. No, no hay voluntarios, nadie esteriliza, les tratan mal. Cada día encuentro esperas con las patas rotas, con no sé qué, muy enfermos, con sarna, de todo. Cachorros, 10 cachorros por la calle un día. Que no termina nunca. Y no hay veterinarios, hay uno. ¿Qué puede hacer? No puede hacer todo. ¿Quién hay aquí? ¿Quién lleva esto? ¿Ella? ¿Ese señor? ¿Su marido? ¿Quién es? Este es un voluntario nuevo, no, es ella. Es ella. Sí, es ella solo. Tenía, lo empezó con su novio. ¿Qué se fue? Y se, y, se, y se quedó sola. Y tiene voluntarios que son como turistas, gente joven, que viene y pasa unos días, hay unas caravanas atrás, viven ahí adentro. Chicos de, vienen de Canadá, de Australia, de Nueva Zelanda, de, de Europa, y viven acá como si fuera un camping. Y limpian y alimentan a los perros, se quedan un mes por el verano, todo el invierno, lo pasa sola. Madre mía. Here 
has a he has a broken jaw. One of the eyes is gone, and uh, we're, we're, we're gonna try to fix that jaw. Jorge, if you're watching this, you have to fix this. The dog has a uh, top of the fracture, he has heartworm and they don't have the right medication and they don't know the extent of the problem with heartworm and they don't know how many worms he has and how big they are. So we so we're gonna have to fix that. So we're leaving now. You've seen the conditions of uh, Dash Animal Center. They have amazing needs. They're doing a great job with very little. This is a woman that has dedicated her life to, to these animals. I'm pretty sure she would have loved to, to have a different kind of place. But sometimes, uh, things just happen and I've met many people that start a shelter and immediately or just after a while they become overwhelmed. This is a good woman, this is a great person and she's uh, sacrificing her life because of these animals. So for this she deserves uh, as much help as uh, we can give her. Wow, I'm gonna leave her PayPal address at the bottom of this video. It's a PayPal me, it's very simple. Click there and give them a hand because they need it. They need it. So we're now gonna drive to to Athens and from there we'll go to Spain. And uh, in a few days you will be seeing more of the little one that is gonna need uh, is gonna need treatment and surgeries and everything. Yeah, that was the video for today. See you soon. What you have just seen is the extraordinary fight of a woman to save as many animals as she can under terrible circumstances. And I really hope that videos like this contribute towards highlighting their plea.